something up for a fall here and uh, our friends from Z Tejas decided to stop by and uh, Chef Sam Callahan is in. You're actually based out of San Antonio right now. Correct. But, uh, you've trained here in Austin. You uh, know the product really well and you've been uh, inspired with some fall creations. Absolutely. A little bit. Talk about uh, how the menu changes at, at Z Tejas a little sure. bit first of all. Sure. Um, well the concept is Southwest so we really tap into the interior roots of the areas. Louisiana, Texas, yeah. New Mexico, California, we really reach into the uh, interior areas in those parts. Okay, and so for the fall menu, I mean, who comes up with these recipes? Did you have any input, for example? Well, we all we all get inspired by the seasons. I think that's where really, really, really originates mm -hmm. from. Um, and so a lot of these items, it's fall harvest, so we're going to celebrate chilies. Uh, the hatch season's almost over, but yeah. there's a lot of other peppers still out there, so we like to really infuse those into our dishes, be real creative mm. with them. All right, well, let's see some of this creativity Great. in action. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is one of the items. This is our uh, crab and chicken stuffed uh, uh, hatch uh, relleno. Love it. So we have crab, chicken, we have some mixed cheese, mm -hmm. and this is our coconut polenta mix. So some of them might know it as an Italian uh, dish, but we add a coconut to it. Okay. Is that and tough to make, real... the polenta? No, absolutely not. This, you would, uh, most people could probably, around here, would com compare it to grits. Yeah. It's a yellow cornmeal grit, and uh, very easy to cook. It's uh, almost just adding water. you got to pay attention to it. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll burn on you yeah. if you're not careful. And nice, though. That, uh, it just sticks to everything, and everything sticks oh, to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And so we have a nice mixture here. Then we're just going to ball it up. And we have our peppers that we uh, roasted on the grill, and mm -hmm. we peeled them. And I'm just going to roll it right up in one. Yeah, let me get that out of the way so we can see what you're doing yeah. there. Yeah. Look at that. And of course, that's a real pre-cooked pepper there. And yeah. Looks like it was born with that polenta inside of it. And just like that. <laughs> and then <laughs> it we'll, look uh, easy. we'll grill them up there for you. And then the uh, finished product. Let me show you what we got here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is a... Um, magically. Magically. Absolutely. Some uh, green chili rice. Wow. Some roasted green chili sauce. And, you know, we like to bring a couple of the dishes, you know, show that we're not just, uh, you know, no rice and beans going on here. Right we on. have this dish I'm really happy with. Um, we actually roasted the chilies into the custard. Okay. And it seems kind of seems kind of off, but it actually goes great with a coffee flavor. Talking about the dessert here, too? Correct. This is a grilled banana soup. pie. There's, there's uh, peppers in the custard? There's peppers in the custard. And it sounds a little wild, but uh, it's actually the flavors melt very well together. Does it give it a nice little, what, bite? It gives it a little bite. You know, each pepper is different, so some are a little hotter than others, but uh, it goes very well together. I love combining sweet and spicy Absolutely. and different things. Big That's fan so of fun. That. And th these are a classic here, right? Yeah, fried chili onion rings. Yeah. Uh, these are so good. These peppers are fried <laughs> up. We topped them off with uh, some cojita cheese, cilantro, a little Cajun dressing, barbecue sauce. Go great together. Mm. And again, uh, our famous chili cornbread um, with green chilies we cooked into the cornbread. And then we have it with a uh, rockfish that we uh, blackened and a barracuda sauce on top. It's kind of about more comfort chilies. food a little more. Oh, absolutely. You know, we're not trying to go, you know, high end here, but we really want to stick to the roots interior. Like I said, again, yeah. you know, you know, stick to the basics and just do it right. Sounds good. And then the sides are so important too. Oh, absolutely. The, um, you know, they, it's, uh, it brings the whole dish together, you know. Yeah, I just love the way you've done all that. So nice displaying quickly just as an educational sure. thing so we know what peppers look like, right? Right. I, was, I said, oh, is that a sun-dried tomato? And it's no. not. No, these peppers, the, the one that's sitting next to is the uh, poblano pepper here, yeah. and this is the dried version. Uh, mm. This is called ancho. Ancho. Right. In, as little... Yeah, those are the, the seeds. seeds still, yes, thing. it's dried hold, and it brings on a totally different flavor once it's been dried out, reconstituted. It'll oh, man. be used as paces and purees, and it's fantastic. I'm excited to, to consider these fall selections from uh, Z Tejas. Thanks, Sam, for coming in. Hey, Appreciate my pleasure. It. Thank you. Outstanding. Nicely done.